Some people tap their feet, some people snap their fingers, and some people just sway back and forth. I just hard to do all together. And now here is Elvis Presley. Elvis In 1953, Elvis Presley went to Sun Records to record a song for his mother Gladys' birthday called My Happiness and That's When Your Heartache Begins, costing Elvis $4. In 1954, Elvis goes to Sun Records and he makes another demo. Marion Keister was taken by Elvis' unusual looks. And after this, Elvis, Scotty, and Bill started traveling to play small clubs and other small gigs locally and throughout the South with some success with records and personal appearances. And in 1955, Elvis signs a contract with Bob Neal, who at that time become Elvis's manager. Elvis continues to travel with Scotty and Bill. The women of all ages loved Elvis. They loved his looks, his moves, his music. Just everything was magical about Elvis Presley. I always started screwing all off the stage and they kept calling me back. And I didn't know what I was doing that they liked. And my manager told me, go, he said, go back out there and do just what you've been doing. So I asked him, what have I been doing? He said, you've been shaking all over. He said, your legs have been shaking with the music and your eyes twitching, your shoulders twitching and everything. And so uh, I stuck with it and I've been doing it ever since. In March of 1956, Colonel Tom Parker became Elvis's manager. And it was a partnership that lasted until Elvis' death 21 years later. In March of 1958, Elvis Presley entered the Army. He was stationed in Germany for two years. There, Elvis met Priscilla, who he married in 1967, and then just nine months later, Elvis' daughter, Lisa Marie, was born. But sadly, Elvis and Priscilla divorced in 1973. And this really took a toll on Elvis. But in 1976, Red and Sunny West and Dave wrote a book about Elvis, Elvis What Happened. It was about his drug problem and about Elvis' life that they put into a book. This also took a great toll on Elvis because Elvis thought Red and Sunny were his very close friends. But sadly, Elvis passed away on August the 16th of 1977. This was a very sad day for Elvis's family and for all his fans all over the world. Number one, Colonel Tom Parker's statement, Elvis didn't die, the body did. We're keeping up the good spirits. We're keeping Elvis alive. I talked to him this morning and he told me to carry on. Number two, sightings of Elvis at different locations all around the world. The majority of these sightings were considered to be honest mistakes or even wishful thinking on the part of the witnesses. Number three, the headstone theory. Elvis's middle name was originally spelled Aaron rather than the unusual Aaron. Number four, the poolside photo on December 31st of 1977. This photo was taken by Mike Joseph, who was visiting Graceland with his family. Number five, the groundkeeper, Elvis. In 2016, a video of a Graceland groundkeeper alleged to be Elvis went viral. Number six, a camo in Home Alone. Number seven, conspiracy theories have tried to claim Bob Joyce is Elvis Presley. Number eight, former employee of Elvis Presley claims he left the house on a helicopter. Number nine, some believe Elvis was connected to the mafia and they believe that Elvis Presley may have faked his death in order to escape the mafia. Number 10, newspaper article says Elvis seen at Graceland on his 85th birthday. Black and white snapshot was taken by a tourist 
on November the 4th of 2019. Number 11. Jean Smith was Elvis Presley's cousin and listened to what he had to say. When we viewed the body for the last time, I stood there quite a while looking at, looking at his hands. And, uh, of course, he was always breaking bricks with his hands. He had calluses on the bottom of his hand and big old rough looking knuckles. His nose would look kind of puggy looking and his right sideburn was sticking out straight out about look about an inch. And his hairline was looked as if it had been a, a hair piece or something glued on somewhere. It just didn't look right. And uh, his hands was just as smooth as a, a newborn baby's behind, you know. And it seemed like it was sweating on his, around his hairline. It could have been sweat, it could have been glue, I don't know. But uh, I just didn't believe it was him. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, put a thumbs up, subscribe. And leave a comment below. And everyone, when you go out today, be safe and God bless you all.